hi guys y'all are welcome to nessa growth and more a big thank you to all of you thank you so much for watching my videos i truly appreciate you all if you are coming across my channel for the first time you are welcome feel free to watch every other of my video like them and if you've not subscribed click on that subscription button and subscribe and join my family someone sent me a link that i should read up something and i should see is this true and after reading it i was like hmm this is true but the article was basing mostly on women but when i read this trust me i have someone that display like all these characters but the person is not a woman it's a man instead and i just decided to make this video because these characteristics or this stuff is not just being found in women it's also found in men so i'll go ahead and read what the article is all about like the topic what it's all about and then i will discuss so the article the title the wrote is women who are lonely in life often display this six behavior so the number one display you will find mostly in women but me i won't be saying women i'll be saying in people because like i said i have someone that display this and it's a man the number one display you will find in people that are lonely is the fact that they always get themselves busy you just find them all the time they are always busy and most of the time they are busy but they are busy doing nothing do you know what they are trying to do they're trying to run away from all the problems and all the challenges they are facing therefore they just engage themselves in most activities that they are not even supposed to engage at the end of the day they get like a fruitless result just imagine that someone just wake up wear their jacket and their shoe and it's just like walking outside it's just outside all day all night at the end of the day you are coming back home with nothing you didn't go to work you didn't even like go to school you are just there just roaming around or moving around and all that is the fact that you are lonely but you don't know how you express it or you don't know how you come out of it so you just feel like let me just get myself busy let me be out and let everybody feel i am busy you deep down in your heart you know very well that you are busy doing nothing let me just quickly read the way they explain it here one of the most common behavior among women who are unknowingly grippy with loneliness is filling every minute of their day with activities you might find yourself constantly on the move tracking of items on your to-do list or jogging multiple pro at once your schedule really has a moment of stillness or downtime why is it this a pointless sign of loneliness by keeping busy we often find dealing with deep down state feeling the busier we are the less time we have for meaningful relationship and genuine connection which deepens our sense of loneliness ever more and that is just it most people that are lonely just find themselves like just being busy doing nothing they are lonely but they don't want to like admit that they are lonely and so they just go about to see them everywhere but in that everywhere they are doing nothing they are not helping themselves or helping anyone they are trying to like run away from their own self their own problem they are running away from it and so they just engage themselves even in things maybe even what they don't even concern them and all that that is where you will find them like doing it or you find them being so active there why deep down in them they are like burning but they can't admit second sign of most people being lonely is excess online presence in an era where social media is king and we are more connected than ever it might suggest that the highest online presence could indicate loneliness however the reality is often quite the opposite you might spend hours scrolling through social media feed, feeds post update regular or engaging in online forums or group it might seems like you are connecting with others but this connection can often be of no use and that is just the truth trust me in this social media era is the truth you see like so many people online and all that it's because most people are lonely you may feel like they are online maybe they are learning something and all that but they are not others are just with their phone like just going through people's stories on instagram screenshotting things maybe like cooking videos and all that you have like so many cooking videos that you screenshot that you buy the ingredients to make but you never used to make it but you always find yourself there watching people doing things and all that it's because you are lonely and you just go to social media to just like entertain yourself and just have fun and all that that is a sign of lonely if you are like always on internet especially if you are doing nothing just like watching things and just looking at people not doing anything and all that it's a sign of loneliness please you should check on yourself the third sign of loneliness is frequent mood swing Hmm. mood swing can be a common symptom of many emotional states but they can also be an indicator of undying loneliness you might notice that your mood always change 
This emotion may seem unprovoking, leaving you feeling confused and emotionally derailed. And it's true. So many people just have like, like one minute you see that someone is so happy and so good. The next minute, like the person have already like switched his mood and all that. It's because when that loneliness come up in them or when they now realize that, oh, I'm lonely and all that, the reality now bounces on them that I'm not supposed to be like laughing or happy and all that. And then they, now, they like crow back in and become like so lonely and all that. Most people that have this mood swing, it can be so bad that at times it will even like affect their relationship it might even affect uh, maybe some if you're working at work or even your children others can like have mood swing even on their children one minute they are okay with their children the next minute the kids have done what is like something so little and all that the way they react and the way they act you will feel like what is happening or at times it could be like adults and other maybe husband and wife or friends and everything you may feel like everything is going on so well all of a sudden like you just be like what just entered what just triggered you and everything is sign of loneliness and all that that's why they keep on like switching their mood they are never like in a good state of mind for long or forever let's read the next sign it is excess self-criticism like criticism like to criticize yourself like excess self-criticism okay we all have moments of self-doubt and criticism but when they become excess they might signal something deeper it could be loneliness you might you might constantly doubt your words criticize yourself in every move or feel you need to improve this these thoughts aren't just passing cloud in your mind they might be a sign of loneliness and they might be permanent in you loneliness can often make us our own harsh criticism the self-criticism can create a vacuum cycle in which loneliness feels safe doubt and you are not alone in feeling this way and it's more than okay to seek help and reach out to others to help you and that is just it most of the time you just find people like just criticizing themselves and all that it could it could be like on little things maybe a woman maybe you and your friend you are talking or maybe someone just compliments someone oh you are so beautiful and you hear things that i'm not so beautiful i'm ugly i'm fat look at my cheek look at my head and look at my like others criticize themselves like they make it so bad people that criticize themselves don't just allow them criticize you because you will just go home just cry all the days of your life and it will take you forever to come out of that it's because they are so lonely because they feel like there's nothing good about them there's nothing good about their life and most people they end up like transferring this behavior to others they will just want you to accept that you are nothing there's nothing good about you and they never say anything good about you they criticize everything you do and all that if you have such people in your life trust me just watch out for them they are lonely but they're they are just scared to like admit it that they are lonely that they need someone and therefore they just want everybody to be sad everybody to be moody like them and the only way they can do that is keep on like criticizing you keep on like maybe abusing you or telling you how worthless you are or how you will not amount to anything just because they feel they themselves can't amount to anything and all that so they want to like transfer it to others so that you will be like them that is a sign of being lonely the fifth sign of loneliness is constant desire to help others. Being helpful and caring towards others is a benefit, but sometimes a constant desire to help can signal loneliness. You might find yourself frequently being the one to always help people, often advise people, or go out of your own way to make other people feel comfortable on the surface. You are just naturally generous but beneath that it could be a plane to connect and recognize that you are lonely when we feel lonely we often seek ways to feel valued and needed by helping others and fulfilling the needs and temporarily distracting us from our own feeling and our own disconnection that is just the truth when i tell you that all these points i'm listing i know like so many people that are like going through this stuff but they might not really know that they are lonely and all that you see this point this fifth point i just read about constant desire to help others just imagine you see someone you know whether the person need help themselves but the person go out of their own way in helping others they are just like everywhere at every time ready to like help people and all that it's not like they are generous from their heart mm -mm. they are doing it they're just trying to 
to like seek validation they just want you to like they just want to like they just want to like receive compliment from people they just want people to just say that oh you are generous and just see that they are nice people and all that why deep down inside of them they themselves they need help they are lonely but they can't fix themselves just imagine that you are a doctor you are sick yourself you are dying but you don't want to like treat yourself you want to treat others so that everybody will clap for you that oh you are a good doctor you are doing it to others why are you inside of you you are dying I don't think that is normal. That is a very big sign of being lonely. If you are someone like that, or if you have someone like that, that always like go out of their ways. Uh -huh, let me give an example. You can be like a married man. Just imagine a married man. Maybe a married man that is not taking care of his wife or his children. But you see this person is always like out, like trying to like help other family, help other people, bring advice, bring solution, try to like make everybody, everything feel good. Why his own is like so bad and everything that is a sign of loneliness that person is really lonely and is just everywhere just trying to like make himself relevant or make himself useful when he or she really need help i guess that's a very good example the sixth and final sign of people that are lonely is difficult in establishing deep connection most people strive to form meaningful and lasting relationship however if establishing this deep connection is difficult it could indicate that you are lonely you might have many acquaintance or close friend but few or none is intimate with you you may struggle with opening up to others or letting them get close to you resulting in failed relationship we might worry that revealing our true self will lead to rejection and judgmental causing us to keep others at arm length and the fear can prevent us from forming deep emotional connection with other people that is just the truth most people they find it like so difficult connecting with others even friends it could even be like girlfriend and girlfriends they find it like so difficult being truthful to themselves or to their friends like being open is because they are so lonely in themselves and everything they're not really like coming out they're not showing you who they are they have like so many things they are trying to like hide so that you will not know who they are and in order of they always like withdraw from you let me give a good example have you ever like have a very good friend that's ready to like give you everything like sacrifice everything and all that and you you just find yourself just withdrawing from this person withdrawing from this person you are just so scared like you feel like you have nothing to offer and the person is like offering too much so you are just so scared and you decide to like draw back and go back to your shadow stay in your own quiet place and all that when people are out there ready to like help you and all that it's a sign that you are lonely right from inside you have to like break through out of that gauge and break through out of that um loneliness for you to like experience good relationship with people and be friends with people and all that so i don't want this video to be so long i believe i explained you can go over list out all the things i i said and then just try explaining it in your own way and see if you are one of this person or if you know people that are going through some of these signs or you can reach out to them or you know how to handle them thank you so much for this video from the beginning to the end i truly appreciate you let's check on each other depression is real let us not allow anybody to be so depressed to the extent of thinking suicide other than that i'll be seeing you in my next video like share and subscribe to my channel bye